The pandemic has been devastating to the arts industry. From canceled concerts, to lockdown galleries, to the unprecedented shutdown of Broadway. So many artists, performers, musicians, and all of the people tied to this community are struggling to stay afloat. However, there are some extraordinary individuals who are doing everything they can to help the arts economy survive and thrive in the days to come. Christina Maxwell is one of those individuals. As manager of the High Line 9 Gallery, a building located under the High Line, she's in charge of a unique new exhibit. The gallery includes a new socially distanced venue featuring artists working behind glass enclosed studios where people can see the artists creating. Art lovers can safely walk through the gallery and watch the pieces come to life in real time. Better yet, they can buy pieces that catch their eye. And Christina joins us now from the gallery. So Christina, tell me how this works. Of course, so we've set up quite the unique experience here uh, to match the unique times that we are in. We are located underneath the High Line, we're sort of running right along 10th Avenue from 27th Street to 28th Street. So you can enter either way. We have a two-way flow of traffic, of course, um, organized with stickers of which way to walk. We adhere to all local, state, and federal guidelines following COVID regulations. So the six-foot social distancing, the required face coverings. I'm alone in a gallery now, so I get to, to break that rule for a second. Um, and then we also have stickers in front of each artist living storefront that show you where you can stand to keep everyone six feet apart. But what you can expect is to enter, to walk through this passageway, and on either side to see these beautiful glass galleries that normally display finished work with QR codes that you can scan to pull up the artist's profile and to purchase their finished work. But as an added bonus, and I think the best part without question, the artists are actually working each in their own individual galleries turned into living, working storefronts. And you can see them in the process of creating. That's amazing. So, I mean, the alternative was just having the gallery shut down. How did you come up with this idea or who came up with the idea and then how did you make it happen? Right. So this was totally born out of COVID. I don't think we would be here if it weren't for COVID, um, which is in such a time of darkness. It's great that we had something new and, and lovely come out of it. But basically, you know, our passageways open. And so we had the option of just hanging art behind the wall. I mean, behind the glass walls, which is lovely, but not that exciting. And I actually called Sugarlift, which is an art advisory group who I'd worked with before. They're amazing at thinking outside of the box. And we sort of brainstormed together and came up with this idea of giving a glimpse into the creative process and creating almost like a, a living zoo um, for the artists and also giving five extraordinary very deserving artists, a space to work in, a gorgeous space to work in at, at such a difficult time for the art community. And tell me a little bit about the artists and how did they respond to possibly working in front of people? It has been amazing. I'm going to give you a quick tour of, I'm actually in Vicky Baranguet's um, studio. She's this fabulous Uruguayan artist. And she, every time I talk to her about this experience, she just like tears up. And uh, because, you know, she'd been working out of her cramped Astoria apartment, like so many people have, and she gets to work in this. Instead, you can see sort of the beautiful natural light. All of our galleries have this gorgeous natural skylight, and she's just had canvases spread out all throughout the space. And another one of our artists, Tony, he goes by Ruben415 as his art street name. Um, but he actually also had to give, he had to give up his studio space completely and was working out of his three-year-old son's bedroom when he got the phone call about this opportunity. And he's here like every single morning at 7 a.m. to paint in the morning light. And I have to say, some of our artists were a little nervous about, they said, you know, like, I'm going to feel like a, like a fish in a fishbowl, you know, painting here. But They've loved it. And I think that instead of being intimidating, it's been sort of this amazing connection and creative fuel for the artists. Why is it so important for us to support art right now in this time? You know, I have always been such a believer in the healing power of art. And I also work with pediatric oncology patients doing music and art therapy 
So I work for an amazing uh, nonprofit called Rip Rap, and I go into patients' homes and we'll create art together. They'll paint the ocean, you know, or we'll make a snow globe or sing music. And I've witnessed the healing power of art through that. I also uh, have a background in musical theater and, and Broadway work and was trained as a writer as well. And I'm, I'm very much a believer that art is a way that we tell stories, the way that we connect across divides. And I think most importantly, art is a way to teach empathy. And not many things can teach empathy, but I think that art can because it takes you out of your own experience and takes you into a, into a larger experience. And I think that artists have always been the leaders, whether it's performative art or you know fine art or, or whatever it is in its form. Art has always been the way that we imagine something better than the reality that we're in, or we force ourselves to look more closely at what we can do to live better and to be better and to do better. And I think we all need a little bit of healing. We all need a little bit of imagining brighter and better days. And I think that art is what allows us to believe that's possible. And I know that on Thursday nights, it's going to be a special event at the gallery. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. It's fun. You know, uh, it's been so interesting watching all of our artists work because they all have different styles of working. I mentioned Ruben likes to come paint at like 7 a.m. and he's very organized. And then we have Nico, who's in the gallery right behind me. Nico, yeah, he was here last night until 11 p.m. And he loves to listen to music and be dancing and painting on this huge 20-foot canvas late at night. So all of the artists work sort of at different hours, although our, our passageways open every day from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. But we decided it would be fun to have a time when the artists will all definitely be in their individual studios working. So every Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m., each artist will be working in their studio. And we have this gorgeous on-site Italian restaurant called Il Piccolo Ristoro that's doing outdoor dining. So they'll be doing some specialty cocktails sort of themed around our artists. Tonight's cocktail is called The Residency, <laughs> um, which is super fun. And you can go you know, grab a cocktail and enjoy a meal outside. Um, of course, following following all guidelines and then following all capacity percentages and face coverings and distancing. After that, you can walk through and you can see the artists at work and scan and purchase their pieces. Well, it just sounds like an amazing idea, an amazing mm -hmm. opportunity. And I'm so thrilled that you're leading the way. It's so important to, to all of the artists and so important to New York City. Well, thank you. And I, you know, I think that's, that's something else we wanted to do with this was, was give New York City something back. And all of the artists, the new work they're creating is on the theme of dare to reimagine a city that's healed in body and spirit. And so that's something that I think all New Yorkers could, could have a little bit of right now. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming on and, and sharing your story and introducing us to this concept. I'm <laughs> sure you're going to get a lot of people. I love it. Thank you for having us. We're, we're My very pleasure. Appreciative. Thank you. Once again, the Highline 9 Gallery is open to foot traffic 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday. The gallery itself runs under the High Line along 10th Avenue with an entrance on 27th and 28th Streets. For more information, you can head to highline9.com. And if you're interested in making a purchase of a piece of art, head to sugarlift.com slash HL9.